horrible season of rain. I just want to say, that some of you think that you're going to change the contract and get rid of the ruts between the house. How many people in here are going to complain about ruts tonight? My first question is, is it in your front lawn? No. No. No, nobody, including me. No ruts in the front. On the side, I don't want to talk about the sides in the back. I've given up. I've used weed killer. I've used everything. I've even used new grass. It's just too wet. Thank you, Bob. And Bob is right. I mean, as far as the ruts, the, the and so if you're going to change, I've been here six landscapes now. Stop talking landscape. What does Raphael do? Right. He mows the lawn and sweeps the edges, trims the bushes, and speaks weed eater in the bed. If you see a big empty place with no flowers, that's the landscaping committee. That's, in other words, a lot of things I think you're going to blame on him. He's not responsible. He's not a landscaper. He is a lawn maintenance person. And, and so some of you might have gone, but I'm telling you, the ruts between the house. Now, I spoke to Raphael, but he's going to try to get a smaller mower. You know, these guys still got to stand on the back. And then between the houses, just run up and down. I said, don't do a wheelie. Right. In between the houses, because it does. It will leave a rut. In other words, mow straight up and down between the houses. But I'm just saying this. I've been through five. It, no, I have not seen rain like this year. And so problems that get blamed on ruts and that type of grass, we blame the board. We blame Raphael. It's it's the contract. We built the place. Right? Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Thank you Bob. Bob. Yeah, but we, we listen we listen to the same thing. So what I want to ask you, if you've got a question about a rut between the house, there's nothing you can do about it. If he's doing something out of your front lawn or something, I can understand. But I, but we're just right. having to okay, okay. okay. Thank you. 
environment for those. Mm -hmm. Christina has already been contacted. I told her to make sure to get a hold of dumping while they're on property. Cut these trees back, trees back and whatever pesticide is needed. Because you have to allow the sunlight in. They like that dark, moist environment. So yeah. it is something that's supposed to be worked on. Dark, moist environment. They get mm -hmm. two trees in the back and they can leap from one tree to the other. They do. And they'll, they'll get out like climbing. They, I mean, because they, they start in the park areas and then they expand from there. And if you look up in animal spiders, you'll read that that is their environment. We just have to, we have, it's a constant maintenance. You're not going to totally get rid of them, they have to be maintained. You are going to do something with them. Yeah, the HOA has to maintain them. I think our team was supposed to work on that. There was one second thing in dealing with communication. I don't think I saw my equipment. I can't always think of board meeting. This video thing is kind of working, but you can't hear because on the table, you can see the trade of those who are doing that, trying to reach out to the homeowners. But from a communication standpoint, it's challenging to hear you in this new configuration. Uh, trying to get here to hear everything is tough. Uh, so I really looked at the minutes on the website, which I've had to repeatedly request where are they going to be updated? Are they going to be updated? I mean, I'm not I'm literally, I'm sharing the emails every month.
surveys. I'm sorry for what it is. He comes up and he asks you to fill out a front of him. Me, I don't care. I will fill it out on the places. I don't care. But when you get someone from you can't fill it out, a lot of people aren't feeling intimidated and they're going to say, yeah, you're doing a great job because he's standing in front of you. I don't think those surveys are fair. I think they're going to say somebody made a decision and you should, you were recommending it. Now we're back. Again, it's not personal, but my grass is dead. Again, I don't what I was covered late with, but my dog, my dog gets out, and that was the end of the time. I tell Christine, it's constant, no way, no, no way to fix it. I try to talk to you tonight, you walk away from me. And my other issue is this evening. I've gone to Christine, I've been sent you emails, I'm going to do a committee, I want people to get someone here, and I want people to get I'm tired of those people speeding on my road, you live on my road. I do complaint after complaint, nothing happens. Christine says she needs a committee to stop the speeding, to get the sheriff's on it. Fine, I'll do it. I want this place to be safe for my kids and my family. And on the back to the landscape, I'm a project manager. I do landscape things. If there's a problem, we walk once a week, we see what's going on, we see the problem, and we fix it. We guarantee the equipment works correctly, it has to be in good shape. And if there's issues, they get corrected. It's not happening here. And I've had enough of it. I'm, I'm done. Why is your dog in the yard when you're home? It's not. When I come home from work and I let my dog out, I have to go check my back gates oh, because she got me to go all the time. I don't let my dog out when they're mowing. So you say they leave the gate open? Yeah, they leave the gate open all the time. And I keep addressing it and keep addressing it and it continues to happen and now it is broken. So one thing I can say about the speed is uh, we try, in order for the sheriff to spend time in the community, you have to have a neighborhood watch committee that has not for traffic. Not for traffic. No, but just you have to even come in the neighborhood period. You have to have eighty percent of your community participate in the neighborhood watch. Which is not but you're never gonna get that. I don't care about that. I want to sign the three page document that Christine showed me that we can bring them in. Yeah, all you have to do have to be there is a requirement, you're absolutely right. It doesn't have to do with that, it has to do with uh, there's a documentation Terry might know about it because she's a property manager. Yeah. Okay, I knew there was documentation, but she was researching it. I did not read the documents, but she has it, and she was supposed to read through it. So I keep asking, I'm willing to leave the committee. I want to help. I don't want issues. I, I don't want to hurt anybody, but I, I'm tired of If you want to join the committee, we would love to join the committee. I, I offered the neighborhood watch up. I offered to help. Okay. We, we definitely want to start the neighborhood watch up, and Joe had mentioned to me that he wanted, he had like the old captain's name, so if you want to communicate with, um, Joe and Matt will yeah, we were all together. The, the, the reason why we haven't had a neighborhood watch is because there was three or four people. In fact, he would show up, Joe would show up, and it'd be three of us, Mike would be there, three or four. Did you email blast asking? No, yeah, no. Let me just say, I don't want to take a break from the rest of the
So, even though I did everything per guideline on how it was, I thought the guard let someone through without taking their license or whatever, right? Okay? So, and the Olympians are very upscale. Um, Sunset Lakes, Silver yeah. Lakes, Olympians, but and like our our lakes, some of the energy everybody cars. has community garage sales. It's a fair, I'm not saying it's oh, open, okay. but we're allowed to have individual garage sales. We are. I was just going to say that, that so, our community garage sales. Garage sales. Garage sales.